Does this look familiar, guys? We are at the paint shop. I see Nico with two of my customer cars there. Let's go check it out. We are here because we are dropping the crown off, finally. This thing's gonna get a full makeover. I'm so excited. Let's go check it out. Jamming out of here. Well, he brought both of my cars because these things are going to the port. They're gonna be shipped out to Cali, finally legal and ready to go. But one of them has a dead fuel pump, so cancel going to the ports today. We gotta bring this to the yard, figure out why it's not starting. Pretty sure it's the fuel pump. But I sold these a while back, super clean, 34 sedans. But anyways, we are here for the Crown. 18's look kind of big right now because it's stock body, but once it has the kit, this thing is gonna be amazing. I just ordered the front arms for it too. Those just came in. We're gonna stance it out more, put some camera in the front because it is a little straight and it's not matching the rear camera. So pop out the front a bit. This thing is gonna be so good and possibly up for sale once it's all nice. Leah really wants to just make her S15 dope, so told her sell this and we'll put more money into the S15. So that's the plan. Let's find Nico. Well, ended up at Tsushiro. Got some fire, some squid, heavy shrimp, taco, crab. Oh yeah. Got some salmon and shrimp with basil. Mind you, this is all 120 yen per plate, like 80 cents. All right, we're back in the yard. I gotta get these things unloaded. We gotta figure out why this thing won't start. Pretty sure it's a fuel pump. It's just been in storage this whole time. Can't be anything crazy, but this thing has 30,000 original miles on it. It is mint. I don't know why it's not starting. <laughs> Anyways, last night I had to go. I didn't have time to really look into why this thing won't start, but we're pretty sure it has something to do with the ignition. The car wasn't automatic before, so I think the car thinks it's in like drive or something. It's not in park, so that's why it's not starting. I think we have to do some sort of bypass something electronical freaking hikaduberator. I don't know what's going on. As you can see, nothing. Anyways, there's this weird freaking whatever that thing is. We gotta mess with it and see if it has something to do with why the car won't start. Let's try to pull it out or in, I don't know. Anyways, yeah, I'm gonna tweak, try and figure this out. Nico's trying some weird stuff, let's see. It's cranking. Fuel pump, check in the trunk. All right, back to the cave-in. Customer ordered some wheels. Throw these on. Ooh, some more T-Clip 01s. I think it'll look good. It's getting dark. I've just been cleaning up, trying to get the R34 started. Nico left. It's freaking cold. Still gotta get the S15 off the lift. It is on four wheels. See, look how funny that looks. <laughs> That's how wide these cars actually are when you put wide body. Anyways, we'll get back to this. I don't know, maybe tomorrow. Let's get these things on this. All right, this thing is done. It is so dark out, but it looks good. We will see you guys tomorrow. Psych, got this thing running. It's ready to go off to the ports tomorrow. Nico jammed out. Let's go that. Good job, I fixed it. Good job, pops. <laughs> they had an extra pump laying around that worked out. This thing is finally coming together. Not really coming together, but Nico got the windshield removed. And we were looking at the damage and it's actually not bad. The A pillar I thought would be crunched. Everything's lining up. So he figures if he pops this out, Get a new windshield in. Could be good. That's nice. There's the update. We'll see you guys. All right, we're back here. Square one. I realized that my coil pack harness wasn't even grounded. Like an idiot. Here we go. I got all ripped apart. I thought it was an issue in the ignition, but that could have simply been it. You guys ready? I'm confident. Ah! Ah! Back to the drawing board. You guys ever seen this before? ARC oil pump, pump this drum with this. I bought this thing on accident and finally putting it to use. It's too loose, huh? This is the funniest thing ever, what's going on? We're running out of oil here. Can't work without heat. Still trying to figure out that junk. So this is what we resorted to. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> we need to do maintenance on this thing, Nico. Just a little bit leaky. This thing freaking snapped. Oh no. We should have heat no time. It's a beautiful day to bring the bike out. I gotta go to Nico's, finish up the K truck. We are behind schedule. Let's take this bike out.
Amen. Nico's home with two of my customer cars. We got the new K truck I just picked up. This thing is looking proper. This thing is up for sale. You know where to go ASAP. We got the S15 I've been storing for a year now. This thing's finally going out to Cali. Ooh, this thing's minty. Got a Suzuki Carry. It is a 1995, 31,000 original miles, four by four, five speed with AC. This thing is gonna go quick. So let me know if you guys want this. I think I'm gonna start doing more K trucks because there's a high demand for these things. I kind of want to use it for a little bit though. Let's go off-roading. I think it's cool. Nico looks huge in there. How tall are you? 180. You can fit though. Not too bad. I fit a six footer in here. Here is all good. Two grown men in a K truck. Usually they're four speed. This one's five speed. Yep. Check it out. Four wheel drive. Yeah. So cool. All right, this thing's gonna be here for a little bit. Hopefully going to the ports tomorrow. The plan with this thing is to ship it to Cali and hope it sells there. I was gonna try and sell it before I ship it, but it's already legal, ready to go. So might as well ship it to Cali. I figure it's easier to sell cars if they're already in Cali. So we're gonna try that route. But if it sells before I send it, it sells. Hit me up, guys. I guess the customer did want seat covers. So, I'm gonna throw these on. These are pretty beat. That's the last thing this car needs. Wheels looking good. Got some new lug nuts on there. Nico did all the maintenance on this thing. Put these seats on. Boom! Look at that. These seat covers took us like three hours to install. No joke. That was insane. It's looking good. It's looking OEM. This thing is ready. We're gonna load it onto the truck. She's going home to her owner. Now we can focus on this thing. There she is, off to the ports. We are starting the day off. We're getting Eki Band. You have to get it. Yeah, you have to. Every time you're at Shinkan Center, we get the Eki Band. They just sold out of the one I got. Last one. We got that. And the train. If you are going on the Shinkan which is the bullet train. This is a must. You have to get bento. Yes. It's all part of the experience. Oh yeah. But we are going on a three day snow trip with my entire family here. We're bringing the kids. I'll film as much as I can. I'm probably gonna be really busy and we got like a bunch of luggages and everything. So it's gonna be hectic. I will film what I can. Right now we're going to what they call the bullet train. And we're gonna be on there for about an hour. We're going to a different resort this time. But we're addicted. We're gonna go snowboarding every single week. This time Jordan's coming first. First time ever snowboarding, girls first time ever playing in the snow. Huh, are you excited? Oh yeah. All right, we'll see you on the train. their own spots here. Finally have window seats so we can get some good b-roll. The carts in front of us are all reserved seats and everything behind is all open seating so you just gotta get a seat when you can. But they usually reserved seats are extra 3,000 yen. Pay 3,000 yen more to get reserved seats or you just wait for seats to open up and I'm down to wait. <laughs> Anyways we got the Nikki Bears. You wanna go ahead and open these up? This is Josh's Nikki Band. Yeah, this one looks pretty good. It's There's so much snow. Look, there's dry spots. This is terrible. There's no snow, babe. Fail. Barely any. It's probably a bunch of fake powder. We came here because this is like a family friendly resort for the kids. We're not really that north right now. So that's why there's not as much snow, but we'll make the most out of it. Jordan's first snow experience. There's no snow. Nothing compared to how it was when we went to the other so resort. The other one was too much snow. Too much this snow. This one is not, not enough. enough snow. Going to the hotel. Five okay, minutes away, we're going to drop everything off and switch into our snow clothes and maybe get on some sleds for the girls. I don't know. 
about all we can do. We are at the hotel. Dude, I found snow. We're like ice. But that's okay. Let's make the most out of what we got here. It's a Zaymos. Dang, the VIP Ben's taxis. They said call them whenever, pick us up. That's sick. Babe, this is fancy. It is. Yeah, we're used to those uh, Oppa hotels. <laughs> this is nice. The girls have never really played in the snow, so they're so juiced on this. <laughs> if they only saw what we saw last week. I don't even know what this place is. This is crazy. It's not even snow, girls. It's ice. Look at that. I know. Whoa, 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 ah, ah, ah. <laughs> careful, whoa, all right, let's enter this freaking mansion. Dun, 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 dun. Dang, it, it keeps going, this is huge. Oh my gosh, Jordan, look, you got your own bed, dude. Yeah, this is not a Japanese style This is hotel. definitely not a Japanese style hotel. Triple king size bed. <laughs> That's not a king size. This is cool. I like this, this is nice. It would be nicer if there was snow outside. Look, you get your own reading light. I love it. This yeah, is my favorite I, love, I love how I don't read. <laughs> Mm, this is fancy. Fancy. Yay! Oh, yeah. oh my gosh. This is, this is what you get for $600 a night versus $30 a night at our normal hotel. <laughs> nice. I'm excited. That's what you get when you travel with parents. Yeah. That's what you get when you travel with family and have family and friends discount on Hilton hotels. <laughs> what do you know? This is amazing. Come in, family and friends. Leah, it's this beautiful, is isn't it? So well, that's where we ended up. Yeah, friggin' sled. Closes in 30 minutes. It's open from 9 to 3. And that was 50 bucks to rent these sleds for 30 minutes. At this point, I don't even care because the kids just want to go sledding, so we're going to do that. All right, Coco Momo are up. Who's going to win? Hold on. Set, go. Looks fun. All right, my turn. Let's go, Let's go, baby. Ah! Oh. <laughs> All right, check it out. We got freaking tubes now, baby. Here, put it on top of mine. Don't go, tell that. Nope, you're too slow. I want to get up there. We only have 20 minutes. All right, let's go. Look at Josh carrying three of them. Let's get up here. It's pretty cool though. They have a little, what is this? I don't know, escalator thing. All right. Let's go, baby. Tomorrow we'll go boarding, but for now we're just gonna be at the kids. There goes Coco. Oh my gosh, it's pretty sick. What? <laughs> that looks so fun. Yay, Coco. <laughs> Bye, Momo. We'll see you on the other side. What? <laughs> Damn, this is sick. Go, go, go. <laughs> Papa's turn. All right, here we go. Let's go, baby. Oh, oh, this is pretty sick. Oh, this is pretty dangerous. I'm gonna die. <laughs> What's happening? What's happening? <laughs> Hello. Hey there. <laughs> this is the only fair competition. Me, you, you and Jordan. Yeah, you have to. No, no. Why? Because I have to take videos of everyone. I already took videos. <laughs> Selfie <laughs> cam, me, you, and Jordan is going to be the sickest thing ever. Let's go. That's it for the night. We're gonna close it out with some food. So nice sunset. No snow, but it is what it is. The girls are having fun. Nah, he'll be here right now. I can see it. Look at this. Oh yeah. All right. Oh, watch out, girls. It's pretty cool here. If I told you it was Christmas, you guys would probably believe it. There's still lights out there. What? So you used to come here when you were little. 
Yeah, when I was like fifth grade, sixth grade. Do you remember used it? used to come here. I do. I do remember it. Does it still look the same? It still looks the same. I'm, I'm excited to go look at the slopes and see if that's still the same. Is it weird knowing that you have kids now that are experiencing what you used to experience? Yeah. Huh? Yeah, look at how cool Whoa. this... Oh, they're totally tricking you. I thought the trees were red, but it's just lights. Yeah, so this is an outlet. They have all the different brands. It's pretty cool. We're at a ski resort too. That's not really something you would expect at a ski resort to have all these shops and outlets. Apparently there's a really good restaurant nearby, so we're gonna go hit that up. Jordan, Josh, you guys are next. Bye. No, Jordan, you wanna be cute with me? Go, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys, next. Here. Here, okay, Uncle Jordan and Josh. And Papa, you go. <laughs> okay, cute. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Are you guys embarrassed? No, I'm so cute. <laughs> Why didn't you cute. do the cute pose with Jordan? Because those people are staring at me, and I couldn't, I couldn't let them know that I'm cute. Can you do it right now? <laughs> <laughs> oh, cotta pasta. That's where we're going. Oh, this is pretty Go dope. Now check it out, guys. Look, look what's hiding in the back. We found a bathe outlet. I'm so hyped. It's like a little amusement park out here. Pretty sick. Anyways, pull the pasta. We're going there right now. I forgot to film. I had a sandwich pasta restaurant. I feel I should have got pasta. Everyone's food looks fire. Looks like I ordered something from the Combini. Nice. <laughs> All right. How, how did the, the like auditions go for this? You just gotta do that. Here's a context, guys. He played in the snow all day, played Catan, came home, and then turned on the TV, and I just thought you I had turn, to film this. Turned the channel to some dudes moaning together. <laughs> we thought it was a comedy show, but apparently this is like an old school. It's like a serious thing. Yeah, this is serious. What is it? <laughs> Sick. That was a good show. Where'd you girls go? To the big bathtub. The onsen? Mm-hmm. Oh, and there's a secret room that's really hot. Really? Oh, it's a sauna. A sauna. Mm -hmm. Was it fun? Yeah. Is this okay, your is this your outfit that the it's hotel gave slippers. you? It's kind of tight here. Are you guys a Hilton member So now? tight for me. You guys are Hilton members? Hilton members. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's just go. Okay. okay. Yeah, we're going. Okay. okay. Good night. Good you guys night. excited? What, what are we doing tomorrow? Going um, to the snow with our same clothes that we were on today. See, see you later. tomorrow in the morning. Okay. Bye. Bye. Good morning. Me and Jordan are here waiting for the rest of the family because we're the first ones to get ready. We got breakfast. We got a BLT sandwich, more like an HLT because this is not big and this is ham. You guys want to see something cool? It's cold, it's negative three. But as you can see, I did a little shopping yesterday. I got this sick vape undefeated collab deck. We, we spent like $2,000 yesterday worth in vape and we got 50% off, which is amazing. I gotta show you guys what we got yesterday. But vape store's right there. We were gonna go in there, but I didn't wanna look stupid wearing the same thing that I bought yesterday. So we're gonna go check the resort out and see how bad the conditions are. It's pretty icy. I just found out that Karizawa is not really the best place to go snowboarding, but it is kid friendly. And I think that's why we're here. So I think this trip's gonna be for the kids. And, and for me. And Jordan, it's his first time learning. I don't know if ice is good for your first time learning, but we're gonna see, I guess. This place is popular because it's only one hour from Tokyo. So it's like the closest resort you can go. Bring your kids, sled, snowboard, whatever. We'll see how good the conditions are today, but. <laughs> We're waiting for the girls. We're gonna eat a little bit and see you guys on the mountain. Hi, say hi. Guys, there's no snow. It looks so much better in person. It's pretty nice. Conditions are actually pretty bad, but we're still having fun. If we bring Jordan on the advanced part, then he has no choice but to learn. So that's yeah. the game plan right now. We're gonna bring Jordan to the top of the mountain and hope he makes it down. First time feet. snowboarding, Heck top yeah. of the mountain. <laughs> I watched two YouTube videos, I told you I'm good. <laughs> He watch YouTube videos. Jordan's learning how to ride. He is getting better. So we're going to the top of the mountain right now. This is the highest peak, so they should have more snow, as you guys can see. Oh yeah, switch to the 360. <laughs> <laughs> definitely, definitely saw that switch. I just said there's more snow and it's freaking empty right here. Yeah. Go 
Don't laugh, Jordan! Six and a half hours later. Go, Jordan! Keep going! Keep going? Keep going? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That doesn't work. Jordan! Oh, well, so flat. Yeah, you had to keep That's going after that. All right, guys. All right, let's go. Heels, heels, heels. Good. Let's go right. Why not? What the freak is that? You got this. I gotta go back on that lift. That's why I gotta get my gloves. We're going down this thing. Just go down sideways. This is so steep, Jordan. You cannot see how steep this is right now. All right, time for me to go down. <laughs> He's. <laughs> You're causing an avalanche. <laughs> <laughs> it's freaking hilarious. This is this little section right here. We found a little food spot. French fries and garlic shrimp. Right. French fry. And tiny garlic shrimp. Yeah, let's Jordan, I got you a drink. Here's your lemon sour. Yeah. Nice highball in your cappuccino. Cheers, guys. Cheers. 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 Well, this is how this segment of the vlog is gonna end. We're on our way back home. We had a good couple days here on vacation. We walked away with way too much vape. We went to Nike. I gotta do a little unboxing later. Pop's got some Jordans. We're about to hop on the train. Successful trip to the snow. We are gonna do this. We're doing this every week, yeah? Yeah, we're going to the snow every week. Wait, you forgot to buy your snowboard. I still need to buy a snowboard, but they got snow boots. All right, let's hop on this train. You know we had to get the Nike bin. This is just cool media food. That's nothing special. But this, this is apparently Mia's favorite. Whoa, dang, it's hot. Yeah, it's warm. And you get to keep this pot. Yeah, it's like a good souvenir, yeah? That's awesome. Do they do that back home? No, definitely not. They don't care about you bringing souvenirs home to your family. Yeah. It says, Toge no kamameshi. The toge bento. That's basically what it's saying. Yeah. <laughs> My type of bento. How much is this? This has got to be at least like 2,500 yen. 1,300 yen. 1,300 yen. $10. You get, you get to bring that home. That's sick. Yeah. Gotta love Japan, guys. Ending the vlog with food. As always, we'll see you guys soon. We're serious about snowboarding a lot. I think we're gonna go next week. I already hit up the boys. Leah can already keep up, so I think it's our new hobby. It's a lot cheaper than drifting. My drift car is still broken, can't figure that out. So I guess we're gonna have to snowboard in the meantime until the season's done. But comment down below if you guys wanna see more. This style vlog, uh, snowboarding, traveling, that kind of stuff. Yeah, we wanna explore Japan, so. I think it's great content just to mix it up. We'll still have the car content, but I'm gonna film as much as I can. I had a blast. We'll see you guys soon.